Hi, I'm a lumberjack and I don't care. Or wait a minute, is that how that goes? No, I'm KIC. That's how that goes. Hey, I'm KIC. Wow, my goodness, we are just chopping down trees, skipping, pressing flowers, all those sorts of things going on because, yeah, it's it's kind of that time right now. We got a day 14 horde coming, well, in a, just about 24 hours. I mean, 27 hours from now, we will be in the midst of fighting off the day 14 horde. I suspect there will be a variety of special guests who will be showing up. Probably, uh, well, I don't know. I'm going to say maybe law enforcement zombies. Maybe some feral zombies, that sort of thing. It would surprise me if we didn't get at least one or two of those of each or something. Well, then again, maybe not. I don't know. The way things have been going lately with this game, I get the crappiest hordes, even though... I'm not dying, I'm pushing the game stages up by doing stuff and getting levels and all that sort of stuff. So, I'm hoping we get a good horde. I'd like to get a good showing. I mean, I'll admit it, I'm not much of one for parties and gatherings and that sort of thing. It's really not my thing. I'm kind of a hermit, and I know it, and, and I embrace it. And that's okay. But when it comes to zombies and, and big hordes... I like bit of hordes and I cannot lie. You other brother YouTubers can't deny. I don't know. How is that supposed to go? I feel so, I don't know, exclusive now. That's not cool. I don't like that. I'm all about inclusivity, not exclusivity. Even if I guess by technicality, the stream team thing for this game. Ah, never mind. Let's not get into it. Let's chop down one more tree, and then we're going to go place some spikes and all that sort of jazz. I queued up 50 spikes before I started recording, so with any luck, I have now replenished all of the metal. Metal? Let's try that again. All of the wood required by rabbit to make all those spikes. I'm not hiding from this zombie. I'm getting ready to surprise him with fury and an arrow. Except I need to wait for the tree to vanish before I can even see him. There we go. It's a nice body shot. Oh, never mind. I thought that was a body shot. That was an arm shot, not a body shot. Here we go. I'll give you some body shots there, buddy. I appreciate that you gave me all those arrows back, though. That was really sweet of him. I, I like that. Very considerate. Guy was thinking of others and not just himself. I, I, I appreciate that not only in a person, but in a zombie. This world would be a much better place if we thought about someone other than only ourselves, right? Kitty? There you go. Sorry, camera didn't want to play nicely. I hit the button and it didn't do anything, and then I hit the button and it didn't do anything. I'm like, ah! Come on, kitty! Get on the screen and hang out with me. Well, she's gonna hang out over here taking a bath. I suspect that'll that'll kind of be her, her plan for today. I mean, at some point she'll probably stop, but I don't know. She just ate, so she's, you know, got to clean off all the food residue and all that sort of stuff. And then I'm going to be a jerk and pet her, so now she has to wash off the human, which uh, it kind of amuses me. Wow. I kind of like the look of that. I mean... This is not a great sort of design or anything from an aesthetic point of view, but I kind of like the look of that. That would look really nice if all the corners were like this instead of like this one over here. Now, for structural purposes, this makes much more sense, but I like the look of that. That was really nice looking, if I do say so myself. You know what? Just to just for look reasons alone, I'm going to go ahead and do that. And we'll come over here. There's no reason to make this aesthetically pleasing. None whatsoever. Not that this necessarily is, but it really doesn't cost that much wood to do that, and I don't mind. Turn on the flashlight, since we have one of those. That's kind of handy dandy. Replenished most of that wood, so I'm going to queue up another 50. I'm fairly positive that this is not going to be a sufficient number of spikes, because... This was 40 spikes, what you see right here. It did not go very far. I would love to be wrong and find out that 100 spikes is enough, because 
We've still got that whole next row to, to fill up, and... I mean, I think I would really like to fill them all with iron spikes if I can. That's probably not realistic at this point. Let's start lining the wall back here, because remember, this is a pretty big killing field right here. I mean, in the grand scope of things, it's pretty small, but it also is pretty decently sized. Now, here's the problem with all of this. I fully expect that a lot of these spikes over here are going to go completely unused. I really and truly am believing that's going to be the case. I think what's going to happen is you're going to have a bunch of spikes like in that back corner there. Like basically, here's here's the thought, all right? Zombies are going to walk through here because, you know, it's the easiest way in. I hope that still works. And then they're going to make a beeline right here, straight across. So all the stuff in this corner, all the stuff in this corner, and then, you know, expanding outward. Total waste of materials, time, space, etc. No reason to put these up. But you know why I'm doing it? I'm doing it because if you're going to do it, do it right and make it look good. And it's going to look really cool once they're all up there. So, wow, I guess that means we need to go grab a little bicycle here and eat some food or something. Man, this is one of those changes that I've read about is the change to stamina and food usage. I mean, I am blowing through food right now. It is crazy. I mean, you know, sure, I'm not eating like every single second and all of that jazz. I I'm not encumbered. Don't lie to me. But it is a pretty considerable amount of food that I have now consumed in fairly short order, I think. Whatever. We will continue on with it. I really wish I had a chainsaw, though. That would make life so much better. Doesn't really matter to crouch right now. I'm going to be at 100% unsneakiness for the whole time. Because all this stuff is so loud, you make so much noise now, and then... I, I don't know if the light... Yeah, I'm going to say, I, I assume the light will change things considerably, so... I mean, here, I'll turn the light off for just a moment. And maybe this won't go all the way up to 100. Okay. If I do that, it sure will. I don't really... Oh, man, out of stamina. Okay. I didn't wait long enough for everything to respawn and all that jazz. That's fine. Anyway, I was just going to say, I don't know that we necessarily need to have the light on all the time. I mean... Yeah, it is kind of hard to see without it. I'm kind of curious, too. Yesterday, you might remember, I had to reset some settings because the game reset my settings. So when I say I had to reset them, I mean I had to fix them. My bad. I'm not sure if Gamma is one of the things that got reset. I guess I'll find out when it gets a little darker. Right now, I feel like it's okay. I mean, it's dark. Don't get me wrong. But I don't feel like it's too bad right now. I mean... That's pretty dark, but you can still kind of see the, the sky and all of that. There's a little bit going on. You should be able to see the blade of the axe as it comes swinging in. So it's not like it's pitch black, but it definitely is not bright out here. No question of that. Basically inviting a bunch of zombies to come say hi right now. Making a lot of noise. Wearing a headlight. It is nice that the headlight finally follows correctly, though. I don't know, this is interesting. I haven't really driven around at night with the bike yet. And yes, I mean road. I haven't ridden around at night with the bike, but whatever. It's pretty cool. I like that. It's a nice little effect. It looks nice. It's good. What you doing, cat? Hi. How you doing? You want to come say hi? No? Yeah? Meow? Meow? Well, come here. That's alternate recording, cat. I'm not sure if she's going to come visit. Doesn't look like it. I'm going to go over to... Uh, I guess we got a couple of pretty good-sized trees over here. This just seems like we got a couple of them. 
This is not the most exciting thing in the world, and I apologize for that. There's not much I can do, though. We got a time crunch here, and I think we'll be able to meet the time crunch. The question is, how much will we be able to do? And I don't know what the answer to that is right now. I gotta say, though, I greatly appreciate that so long as you have stamina, you can take a swing and do full damage. That's a huge, huge change from Alpha 16 that I really appreciate. Sure, we'll take both of those things. Why not? Where is the... There we go. I was going to say, where's the trunk on this thing? It's hiding in here. I mean, check this out. If you turn the light off in here, it is really dark. That's kind of crazy. I kind of like how the... The limbs and the needles hang over and just conceal everything. Kind of cool. There are a lot of changes with Alpha 17 that I really like. But there are some that I'm still really struggling with, too. So, you know, whatever. It's just a matter of time. I think for the most part, we have a pretty good idea of what 17 is going to look like once it hits prime time. Still might be some changes to stamina. I assume that stamina will get tweaked one more time at least. Pathfinding will be addressed a couple times again. Let's drink some water here. That's going to put me in encumbrance mode. Thanks to that extra space. But while the water buff is active, that should give us some additional stamina, so that's kind of handy there. Let me get back to the, to the bicycle. I keep wanting to say mini bike, man. And let's go ahead and eat some food here. Guess we can have a can of chili, I mean, sure. It's not bad. 1,500 wood, so that's going to be enough for another 50 some odd spikes, so... I want to say let's go take down maybe one more tree. I don't know that we really need to, but I'd feel better about it if we can have one more. I'm thinking we'll get a couple of zombies over here. A couple of uh, burning men, as it were. Maybe not. We'll see. This will be a good one because this is a full-size tree. This will be nice. This will be a good chunk of wood. And we're going to head back and put some more spikes down. And then we're going to take a final look at things here. Well, probably final for this episode anyway. I don't know. It depends on how long all of this takes. And how we want to game plan some of this stuff. I'm still thinking I want to go a little bit higher. Like maybe build one more level up. I, I don't know. I'm kind of torn. I'm going to lay off the sprint for a moment. We'll just ever so slowly pedal back. Here, I'll do a little sprint burst in here. And we should be over this way. I, I went too far without taking a turn. My bad. It's all good. We'll get there. I promise. What, that, what, what was that? I just... I must have driven over something. Road over something. We're not going to need another 50 in here, so that's a good thing. We are going to need a lot, though. Oh, I forgot to turn them. That's fine. We'll do one row that looks wonky, and the rest will be properly rotated. It's, it's too late. It's never too late to start again, except when it is too late, so my bad. Let me start running down this way. And then we're going to need some more spikes. So I'm going to say we'll... We'll do 20 of these guys, I guess. Something along those lines. I should probably figure out how many I'm going to need in here. So if we do it this way, we got one, two, three... I, hold on. One, two, three, four, five... 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 
13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Because that's going to be a door. Okay. You know what? Here, let's test this. I say, don't tell me I killed you. Uh, he should go this way, because it's open. She should go that way, because it's open. Okay. Yeah. That's what I thought. But that's interesting. She came all the way up here, and she was kind of... I think she was starting to go this way, and then the AI's like, wait a minute. This is an easier path. It might be time to start blocking this in. Do we still have... We still have three flagstone blocks, so it might be time to start blocking this out here. Hmm. Alright. I'd like to get a bunch of metal spikes in here, so what is it going to take for iron? Holy crap, we need a lot of forged iron if we're going to do that. Um, yikes. Alright, well that'll be... Uh, maybe I should go do that now. Because that's going to take time to burn all that stuff. It's going to take time to craft them. When I say burn, I mean smelt. You know what I mean. Please tell me you know what I mean. Okay, that is all filled in nicely. That looks really good so far. Let's do these now. Man, I am... I'm going to end up spiking myself, okay? I always do. It's kind of a tradition I have. I think what I want to do is start... filling all of this in. So here, we're going to need a few more of these. So let's do... I'm not even bothering to do the math. I'm sorry. It's probably going to be more than ten, though. One, two, three, four, five... Six. So we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen ish. So about another thirteen, I think. And yes, these are not rotated because I didn't rotate them when they rebuilt. Whatever. Whatever. I did not count how many that was, so we'll just grab some more, and if we have some leftovers, that's fine. Not going to worry about this right now. Let's go grab the bike. We've got to go get started on a crap ton. Well, you know what? No, it's fine. Let's just, let's just go do this. On a crap ton of forged iron, I might not be able to accommodate... What was it? 23, 28 of those spikes? That might not be realistic. Where's the forge? Did I not put the forge on, on here? Ah, oh, crud. The forge is right there. It's with the workbench. And of course, I didn't put down a new sleeping bag, so you have no idea where the base is unless you know. Unless you know you don't know what you don't know. That's fine. I'll try to remember to... Well, crud, I don't know. I was going to say, I'll try to remember to do that before the horde, but... I usually cut my recording not too long before the horde is scheduled to arrive. In which case, I'd have to run all the way back before the horde shows up and yada yada yada. That was super handy right there. Holy crap. Go me. Apparently, I forgot that I had set up a bunch of that stuff in there. Let's make some more forged iron. We're going to load this up with... Not that. We will use that as fuel. We don't really need that much. Let's do something like that. We're going to need another... Um, let's see, what was it? Four? A pop for these guys. So that's going to get us just about 25. So we can do four of those. Then we can do another... We'll do another 30. So we'll do 34 of them. That's going to end up giving us uh, quite a few 
iron spikes. That should be a sufficient amount. That should be enough. That'll take care of our needs. That would be super good if that's the case, actually. I'm going to head back to base. I'm going to go resupply on food and water and that sort of thing, assuming I don't get stuck in the pit that we have used for digging clay. Bill clay, of course, as if there were any other. All right, just because you're going to yell at me if I don't, fine, I'll use the back door. I like the front door, what can I say? But there you go. I have now used the back door. All is right in the world, and we're all good. And I'm just kind of joking about that, but hey, whatever. Good times. We did some building. We got some stuff done. We have one full, well, coming soon, one full day's worth of daylight to play with. I'm going to get some tea cooking here just because I think that would be a good thing to do. And I'll catch you on the next one. So until then, thanks for watching. Maximum Teosity. See you later.